Hello everyone. Welcome to Engineered Learnings. Engineered Learnings has been created as an effort to help and reach out to all the engineering students, aspirants and professionals out there with the basic understanding and the crux of the topics important for placements, vivas, semesters, competitive examinations and all types of interviews. So let's go to today's topic. Welcome everyone. Today we are going to discuss something different from uh, technical aspects of the uh, subject. We are going to discuss uh, something which will lead you to a personal interview or a GD. Uh, that is how to clear an aptitude test. There are certain questions from different sections. Uh, logical reasoning, data interpretation, uh, quantitative aptitude. We are going to solve a particular topic. Just a discussion of about uh, 5 to 6 minutes. Which will help you solve a particular topic of quant section. From where the questions in the quant section come out regularly. That is the what and time section. You see, uh, how are the problems of a walk and time section dealt with? And not, in, in an aptitude test, you need to answer the questions really quickly. So, uh, you cannot take much amount of time in solving those problems. So, how the problems exactly framed like? They will give you that if A supposedly does a walk in 8 days, B does a walk in 5 days, C does a walk in 10 days. So if they walk together, then how many days will they together take to finish the walk? That is the simplest problem that can arise. That if two people walk together, you may find out different combinations that A, plus a and B walks for 2 days, then B and C walks for another 2 days. Uh, this type of problems are also common in CAT. Uh, so, uh, these questions have an easy solution which can be uh, taken or applied in a, uh, an aptitude test. You don't need to waste time going for 1 by 8 walk is done or 1 by 5 walk is done. The general approach that the students follow. So, how to approach this type of problems? You need to know to find out the LCM. That's all. You need to know how to find out the LCM of two quantities. And you will have to consider that LCM as the number of units of work done. That is, supposedly, considering the simplest problem that A does a work in 8 days, B does a work in 5 days. Together, how many days will it take for A and B to finish the work? So, come, so, so coming to the simplest problem, 5 and 8 LCM is 40. LCM of 5 and 8 is 40. So let us consider that 40 units of walk is done. So if A completes the walk in 8 days, so A does 5 units of walk per day. Because if A alone finishes the walk in 8 days and there are 40 units of walk, then A does 5 units of walk each day. Whereas B does 8 units of walk per day. So now if they walk together, they will be able to do 13 units of walk each day. And how many units of walk is to be done? 40 units. So 40 divided by 30, there is something just greater than 3. So it is 3.1 means it will take more than 3 days, just more than 3 days. So around 4 days or something like that. So this is the simplest problem that can be dealt with. Take out the LCM. Consider it to be the total units of work. Then find out that how many units of work each of them does. Since it is a multiple, it is an LCM. Both the works will be multiples of this number of days. So per, per day you will find a whole number unit of work done by A or done by B. And then you apply the combination and you solve the problems. So this is the simplest way of working. A does the work in 8 days, B does the work in 5 days. Consider it to be 5 into 8, 40, 40 units of work. So A does 5 units of work per day because it, A finishes uh, the work alone in 8 days. B does 8 units of work per day which will take 5 days to finish. And finally when they work together, 13 units of work they do per day. So now, if supposedly we take an example. A complex question now, let us solve. A does the work 
in five days b does the work in eight days c does the work in ten days now it's given in the statement that a b and c work together for one day then a and b works together for one more day and finally b and c works together for one day three days are done how many more days will c require to complete the remaining work this is one typically asked question from this section work and time and quantitative aptitude now how will you solve it as i have already said take out the lcm so what is the lcm of 5 lcm of 5 8 and 10 it is part 40 So 40 units of work. Let us consider the total units of work as 40. So how much work does A do in each day? A takes five days. So A would do eight units of work per day. Since it takes 40, it is 40 units, and it takes five days to finish the work. B does. Five units of work per day, and C does four units of work per day. So you see, all of these are whole numbers, and they're easier to deal with. That was why we have taken the LCM. Now you see, A, B, C work together for one day. So how many units of work A, B, C when work together? How many units of work they do? Eight plus five plus four. That is seventeen units in the first day. A plus B plus C does in one day. Thereafter, A plus B works. That is five plus eight, thirteen units. Second day. Now coming to the third day, B and C works. That is five plus four, nine. Nine units of work are being done in the third day. So thirteen plus nine plus seventeen. So it gives thirty-nine units of work done. So remaining one unit of work. One unit work remaining. So we know that C does four units of work in one day. So one unit will be easily com completed within one day by C. So you see, it takes just one day. For C to finish the remaining work. So, how many number of total days would be required? Four days. So, it's a very easy problem to deal with. If we deal with similar problems like this, wherein you will see that uh, instead of 40 units of work, maybe some amount more is required. So, you will deal with it accordingly. So, take out the LCM, find it. How many units of work is done by A, B, and C respectively in each day? As a whole number, and then apply the combinations of work given to find out how many amount of work is already done and what is the remaining amount of work that needs to be done, and then how many days will that combination require. So that's it. This is how you solve work and time problems in quantitative aptitude. If you liked it, share a work, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any unsolved problems or if you have problems with any. Uh, such a problem in work and time section, then you can always mail us, mail us at uh, engineered learnings at the rate of gmail.com. The mail is given in the description. So that's it for today. Uh, thank you very much.